Muslims need to have a absolute trust in Allah Ta'ala. I tell Muslims they believe in Allah. They don't trust him. There is a fear, innate fear in them in having that level of trust. Rasul Salaman and those who fought in Badr, if we were to firstly, they had absolute trust in Allah. The trust in Allah Ta'ala's victory, right? And this was not you know, it was interesting. It's not this, the Muslims are standing there and they've got angels behind their back and they said, okay, and what? They were oblivious to this. It was in the last moment that Allah sends them. So he, he first tested their resolve in terms of their taqwa. That are you ready? Do you trust me? Are you going to do this? You know, and they were ready, even if they were malaika or not. Those guys were ready. They were ready to roll for Allah Ta'ala. So it's not, the first thing is to trust in Allah Ta'ala is important. The second thing is to turn to Allah Ta'ala. Rasul Sallam then does dua to Allah Ta'ala. He's the messenger of Allah. He's aware of his victory. He's aware of Allah's support. Yet he still turns to his Lord, asking him for support, for sustenance. The Muslim who doesn't do dua to Allah Ta'ala is at a loss. A lot of times Muslims, they pray and they just leave. And I say, why did you not ask Allah for something? And it's like, well, you should be grateful, alhamdulillah, you should be grateful that he gave you the opportunity to ask, then ask him, because only he can give you whatever you want and whatever you need. So in that sense, it tells you a particular mindset that first, there's a, there's, there seems to be some level of an absence of a trust, too, and then seems to be a relaxation in regards to wanting to turn to your Lord to ask, which you must do, Three, what we then see is that the Muslims were prepared. They didn't come wishy-washy, even in Badr, they were prepared in Badr. Uh, Rasul Salam, he turned to the Muslims, he got them prepared, he put them in rank and file. So what's interesting here is in Badr, they used tactics that the Quraysh had never seen before. He put them in rank and file, he brought in archers, he put in the cavalry that would go in the front, and so forth. So you can see that the preparation was there. That Muslims need to be prepared for any event that they go into in life. You know, I see students sometimes not studying for exams and then praying to Allah to help them on the exam days. What are you talking about? Are you kidding me? So here you can see that the expectation of preparation is necessary. The next one is shura. Rasul Salam did shura with his ummah. He asked them, he goes, well, what do we do here? In a sense that, you know, one of the Sahabi says to them, is this wahi from you or is this? Um, you know, your own idea. And the Rasul said, this is from me. What it shows in terms of a leader is that he was willing to listen to his ummah in a decision that he had made. So there's a sense of humility here. And they said, you know what? We need to take the wells. Once again, they have tactics. They're aware. Take the water. There's no level of ignorance here. He takes the shura from the best from amongst them. So we should turn to those people of knowledge from amongst our ranks who have the expertise to so ask them, okay, what we go next? And then you go out and, and, and the process. I always say the process is more important than the outcome. If you, of course, the outcome is important to us, but if you are purely outcome driven and not process driven, then you're going to fail. Victory is in the hands of Allah. For you is the effort. That's all Allah wanted to see from the Muslims. He wanted to see their effort. They put in the effort, then he gave them their help. Now, once they had gone to Badr and achieved that victory, then Allah Ta'ala says, okay, you've seen how it's done. You've done it. I helped you. I gave you that little guide in hand. You've achieved your victory. This victory is yours. Well done. Alhamdulillah. And now the next battle, it's on you. I'm now leaving this to you, Yali. Now it's on you. You have to. The reason why I'm explaining this is because Muslims have this weird imagination that continuously they're going to be sent angels and they don't want to take responsibility it's on you Allah Ta'ala gave you Islam it's on your head now be competent you have to have the competency to go out there to do whatever is necessary in whatever fields you go into right and this absence of competency is a problem in our ummah and we have to elevate the competent from amongst us to go out and do what's right and wrong so in that sense there's a lot to be learned from Badr I mean it, the list is you know, it goes on and on. So the support of Allah will not leave us, you know, um, we have to have that, that belief.